For those of you who follow slam poetry or spoken word poetry, this was inspired by Sarah Kay, a renowned slam poet, probably a poet that I really look up to in this field. So, hope you enjoy, and I promise you this is the last poem. And one more speech, and we'll go eat, okay? <laughs> Ramani, I can't find the poem. <laughs> okay. So if you can please turn to page 61. Oh, I it's on the screen. Thanks, Lee. I'd like to dedicate this poem to my parents. Don't ever tell your daughter she has small hands as if it's a bad thing. Hands too small to build or to hold or love or heal. Tell her small hands are easier to escape or enter with the tiny spaces or to slip off handcuffs. Tell her she's gifted. Tell her that her fingertips can run through the same number of pages and heal the same number of souls as any other, if not more. Small hands can hold grains of sand tighter and butterflies safer to gut fish or burn monuments. Someday they might knock on doors of boys with sad brown eyes and sneak them in through balconies or French windows. Let her be sensitive to snow and firelight. Let her build Lego houses and ladders and candlesticks as well as with heavy bricks. Allow her to play with rainwater. Cupping raindrops in her hands. Show her that her hands are magical and that she is strong enough to fold ropes, climb mountains and draw boats. Let her cup her tiny palms and swim through oceans. Tell her to use her feet when her hands are tired. Tell her that she is not too small and that nothing is too big. That her small hands aren't a metaphor for her soul or her goals or her capabilities, especially not her capabilities. Tell her Rome was built with hands like hers. Tell her that art was carved, painted and poetry was written with hands like hers. Tell her that she could hold snowflakes as well as build the next great wall. Don't just tell her that her tiny hands are cute and soft, even if they are. Teach her there's so much more. Teach her they're meant to block bullets and drive rocket ships. Teach her they're strong as much as they're beautiful. Tell her that her tiny hands are all she needs. Tell her to build a world with them or without. Teach her to live without them if she has to. Tell her that her hands are just hands until she uses them to create magic. Remind her that Aphrodite is just as beautiful without her hands. Teach her that these body parts do not define her. Remind her every day that she is a goddess with or without her hands. Tell her that her fingertips aren't the limit, but only the beginning to freedom. So the next time someone challenges her saying she's too small or too weak, she'd say, that is not how I'm all raised me. Thank you. Thank you, Nani.